Each year, teams from all around the world build a Formula student race car and compete with it against other universities all around the world. The competition focuses mainly on design and manufacturing and not only about speed. The idea of the competition is to be the top notch of technology. This is why all the teams are making electrical cars. The value of participating in an EV category is that I can work with lots of engineers. In previous years, we made the nose and the wings with CNC machine, and that way we made molds. We weren't aware that we can use 3D printers in order to print car parts. Then we did a little bit of research and we found Mazivit and we used their technology in order to save time and cost. To build one part with CNC machine could take a whole month while the 3D printer makes the same part in a matter of hours. This year we used two different methods of 3D printing. For the nose we used GDP, gel dispensing printing, and then we added carbon inside in order to make it stronger. It is important to use composite materials in a racing car in order to make it as light and as strong as we can. For the wings we use water breakable mandrel. We do a wet layup on the Part. Afterwards, we put the whole thing in a vacuum and then in water. The water breakable breaks in the water and then we are left only with the carbon part. It was important to use new technologies like 3D printing. It helped us to gain more points in the engineering design review. The competition starts with the static events that deals with the business plan, the cost report and the design review and continues with the dynamic events that includes acceleration, skid pad, autocross and endurance. Using 3D printing in a Formula racing car was exciting, interesting and important in terms of time and complexity.